everybody. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. Woo! Doing a very special show today. Today is Friday. It is the 27th. A lot of us have been working at home, and we're all going stir crazy because, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, I actually miss driving in traffic. But, you know, I'll hate it once uh, everything goes back to normal. So until then, I actually kind of miss it. Anywho, um, I have been spending the last three days loading up our eBay page. So everybody click on the links for the eBay store. That is where you're going to find everything I'm showing you today. I have uploaded everything I could find of the chaos years. And now I started dipping into the avatar stuff. So let's get things going with a lot of the real fun stuff I have. So don't go anywhere. Also, everybody, um, I hope you all have a great weekend coming up. God knows we need it. First thing I want to show today is the Lady Death 10th anniversary. This is the energy cover. Put up a couple of these. A lot of this stock will be, once they're done, they're done. That's it. So I do have multiples of some. Some of this stuff I also have onesies of, so scoop up what you want to see. Um, already the China books that I had put up um, also uh, late Monday afternoon. I'm almost sold out of those, including The Rock. So if you are WWF fans, WWE fans, wrestling fans, I've got a few copies left, so scoop them up while they're still available. Also, I have the other, the Night Flight 10th Anniversary also from the Avatar years. And this is a reprint of the uh, Lady Death Reckoning, the first Lady Death uh, series. This is number one. And this is a reprint that they did uh, for the 10th anniversary of Lady Death. It's hard to believe it's been 15 years since this book came out. So time flies when you're having fun in comics. Another 10th anniversary book. This is the premium edition. Really nice, fun, skulls, glowing. This looks like a Matt Martin piece. Wait, there's not all. There's still more. I got more. More, 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 more. I have Lady Death 10th Anniversary Queen of the Dead edition. Carlos Ferrero. So again... Very cool stuff. Like I say, I've dug and I've dug. I've gone through boxes and boxes and I'm still not done going through boxes. This is a lot of fun, especially if you're into like comic collections and getting books into people's hands. This has been a very fun, fun experience. Next up, we have another 10th anniversary. This is The Serpent's Cover by uh, Juan Jose Rip. Um, I was always uh, really attracted to his art over the years. Um, there's just something about his art that just really attracts the eye. Um, it's a sword. <laughs> yeah, the sword is badass. But I just, there's just something about it. I believe he also did this one. But yeah, I mean, just the cross hatching, the dots. Um, there's just something about his art that just, I love looking at it every time I'm pulling out. It's like, oh, it's a Juan Jose Rip cover. Really great looking stuff. And I have an Abandon All Hope half issue. This is also, a, let's see, this is the, uh, Ron Adrian cover. This is a half issue. So I got a few. And here we go, Abandon All Hope number two. This is the rip cover. Again, another beautiful piece. And I love looking at the old ads. Escape of the Living Dead. John Russo, screenwriter of Night of the Living Dead, continues his stories in comics. Check that out. That's gorgeous. So all the detailing he just puts in on the sword's hilt and... It's just fun stuff. This is a lot of fun just staring at the art. And also looking how the artists, um, their styles and just how they just get really, their art just improving over time. It's, it's really cool, especially some of these artists were doing covers. Just slowly just been pulling them up and it's like, wow, look at this. It's another 
oh, here's some rip art from like five, six years later and just seeing how, you know, the slight changes they've done to their styling um, while doing these covers has always been fun. Next up, Abandon All Hope number three. This is the regular cover. Very amazing. Very dramatic. I love the spines coming out of the werewolf's back. It's just really cool. It's like she's ready to just power up and kill that sucker. Look at that. That's a great action pose. Just grind him by the throat and just slam him down. So that is issue three. And this is just the beginning, guys. I got a half, well, actually a short box full of this stuff. So whatever I don't get to show you today, I'll definitely hold some back um, to show you guys on Monday's show as well. Here we are. This is the commemorative edition of Abandon All Hope, issue three. Another Matt Martin cover. I really love the bats flying in around her. It just gives that really cool, spooky atmosphere. Just love it. Absolutely love it. And my cat decided to pay a bit. Tiny, you know you can't be on camera. Come on, dear. Yes, I love you. There you go. A special guest appearance by my cat, Tiny. Um, she's been very curious to seeing what I've been doing uh, this week. Um, she's been sitting on my lap a lot, keeping me company as I type up and get photos uploaded on eBay. This is the Abandon All Hope Issue 3 Premium Cover. Stunning, stunning piece. Enjoying their week. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying all the crazy stuff that's been going on with comics lately. Um, definitely um, a lot of stores have uh, closed uh, across the country. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there pipping their wares and just finding ways. I mean, there's even some shops locally that have been delivering their comics to people. So it's been kind of interesting watching everyone kind of take a bad situation and make it good. And that's what we've been doing here at Coffin Comics. My next cover is the number three of Abandon All Hope. This is also a Juan Jose covers he did too that um, I'll be showing you all today. And again, we do things different on the uh, Coffin Comics uh, shopping network. Um, we don't do shout outs. There's a bunch of links you'll see. Just click on the links and that's where you'll go to pick up these items. Everything I'm featuring today is on our eBay store only. So click on the link for the eBay store and pick up this and all the other stuff I've been uploading for the last week and past few months for you guys. Next up, we have the Abandon All Hope 4. This is the standard cover. Another great piece. It's like she's powering up and she is pissed. Boom! In the background. I wish she Boom! Boom. Kaboom. And everything is on our eBay store. I have uh, anywhere of quantities of one on some of these, and I do have some um, up to like nine, ten, um, and if I had them, fifteen. So I've been loading them up. So there is quantities of quite a few of these books. Next up, another one. This is Abandon All Hope. This is the Juan Jose Rip cover. Again, really dramatic. The detailing on those scales of the dragons and all the other demon beasts coming around in the background. It's really cool, cool artwork. I just love the detailing on it. I, I just really love this guy's work. Is this one of his wraparounds? No. Can't wait to show you guys some of the wraparounds. Next up, we have the late annual number one. This is the painted cover. Really nice. Has a real classic um, feel to it, like almost like a old school 80s cover. I felt when I was looking at this, just really got that groovy classic vibe. And I love how everyone does the interpretations differently. Her powering up of all her energy, like some do it bubbles and stars and everyone has their own like little unique way of uh, expressing her, her power ups, which I really love. But the hair is just always up. <laughs> that girl never has flat hair ever. Ooh, here we go. So Richard Ortiz, 
This is annual number one. This is a wraparound cover. I don't want to hurt the book too much doing this, but there you go. That's what the complete looks like. This is Richard Ortiz. There's those cool wolves with the spinal cords coming out of their heads and necks. It's so cool. Look at that. Apocalypse, this is the Century Edition. Number two, there was only 100 of these. This is the Firestarter one. Again, Juan Jose Rip. It's from 2005. Wow. Wow, that was 15 years ago. It's amazing how time flies. Especially in comics, it's the one thing I notice. Because um, everything is always... Um, you always have your catalogs each month that you got to turn in to get your orders in for your books, toys, apparel, whatever you need in your shops. So I'd always be amazed. It's like, holy cow, the year blew by already? And it's just like, oh yeah, I have a new catalog. Here we go. Another one. This is also Lady Death Apocalypse. This is the sultry cover, number two. I'll pull that out a bit so it doesn't get too much of a glare. So beautiful. Lots of great, great art pieces. And it's really cool because it's, it's um, some of these artists like uh, Richard Ortiz and some of the other names I've seen on some of the books, they're doing books for us here at Coffin too. So it's really cool to see these guys um, still there with uh, Brian with the Lady Death character and have been doing stuff for Coffin Comics. It's, it's a really generational character. There's like two, three generations that love Lady Death. And it's like, wow, that's, that's really cool for a independent pressed uh character so thank you guys we can't do it without you next up the apocalypse this is the century edition this is cover d for issue five there was only a hundred made of these i don't believe i have too many of these left either let me say these are the last and this is all that we have of the avatar stuff so once this stuff is gone psh, that's it. They're gone. All right. Now, everyone remembers the swimsuit craze in the 90s. Um, a lot of publishers and comics were doing uh, swimsuit issues. Um, the Lady Death one was cool because they had stuff like um, a leather cover and the velvet, red velvet cover, which was really cool. It's her like in a liquid pool of red velvet to look like blood. It was such a great cover. And then in 2005, there was a bikini special for Lady Death. This is the Skulls cover. So only a thousand of these published. I have a few of these in stock. They say everything you're seeing is going to be on our uh, eBay store. Just click. There's also links down below. So you can also get tickets to Sworn Fest 2021. Going to be happening out here in beautiful Ma uh, Mesa, Arizona on uh, February of next year. Tickets are on sale now. Get them. It's a blast. Uh, for those who made it out to uh, the Fiend Fest we did last year, everyone had a great time. So get your tickets. Come on out. It's a great weekend. It's a really good value. And it's a lot of fun. Um, also, pick up. I think we're gonna, probably going to be doing some karaoke. So I have some Stray Cat stuff picked out for uh, now. So just look on the links. Click on those. There's also a link to our um, Lady Death store. So if you want to click on that and do some shopping there for a lot of our newer items from Coffin Comics. You'll find prints, hats, coins, you name it. Everything we sell is on that link. Right now, today, we're going to be focusing, as well as Monday, um, on all our eBay store. Yeah, another Juan Jose Rip cover. I just really like his dramatic poses. Just gorgeous. And that's like one of many hundreds of covers I have uploaded and along with books and other cool stuff. Next up, we have the Adrian cover. This is also the half issue, Black Lands. Royal down at the bottom. He looks disgruntled. I wish I could be that beautiful like her. Not everyone can be. Some of us have to be true monsters. There's another really nice place, another Richard Ortiz. This is the, what did they call this edition? Oh, this is just the Ortiz edition. 
know, Richard uh, still today, and it's amazing to see how much as of an artist he's grown over the years, and how he's just improved his artwork and the looks and his style. It's a lot of fun to premium cover, and this is done by Mr. Guzman, who uh, Gabriel Guzman. He did the interiors for a lot of the Avatar books. And I like how the sword's all powered up. And she's ready to take on that whole army behind her. And she's going to win. And again, I just love the bats in the background we put. That's really cool stuff. I love the bats. All about the bats. Also, ooh. It's another. It's the Blacklands Half. This is a wrap cover. This is just stunning. Stunning, stunning. Look at that. That's just a beautiful piece on Jose Rip. Just gorgeous. And I like the um, effects they do on the eyes, how they just glow right through the hair and everything. You don't need me to be too quiet to head out the door, honey. You live here. Too. <laughs> it's funny while I'm feeling this, everyone's being so quiet. Um, however, my daughter is also home um, from work. Um, for the next two weeks working, so try not to be too loud and obnoxious like I'd like to be because I don't want to interrupt her. Um, and you know, regular cover got a few of these going up. Like I say, a lot of this stuff, once that stock is gone, um, that's probably going to be it for a lot of these. These are the last of the last of these books. Um, I still got another three more book uh boxes full uh full of books um when we have three boxes i mean each box is has one of every cover we i could find and that i'm still pulling out so i have a feeling i'm gonna find more goodies for you guys because this has been it's been an incredible week um i'm surprised my eyes aren't cross-eyed from looking at computer computer screens and all that other stuff um so yeah it's 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 really hard um, when you're not used to looking at computer screens that long. This is the Black Lens number one. This is the combat cover. This is Daniel HDR is the cover artist on that one. And I really like, here, here you go, the, the more the effects on her energy. It's like everyone does it. Sometimes it's like crackles. Sometimes it has this bubbly, like, uh, pure energy feel to it, and sometimes it just has this this anger behind it. With I love the little waves he kind of put to give that effect of the energy she has. Again, another beautiful piece. And there's more. I got the entire Badlands series up. Uh, one of every hands on. Uh, this is the Blacklands issue one commemorative cover. Again, by done by Gabriel Guzman. Another really cool book. And a lot of this stuff um, we don't even have on the Lady Death store. Um, they're just not on there. So they will all be found on the eBay store. For you guys to look, there is quantities of these. Um, sometimes as many as just one. And I do have some with even more quantities. So... Don't hesitate. Um, yesterday and the day before, there was a bit of a feeding frenzy because um, uh, we rebroadcast Monday show and uh, stuff scooped up left and right. It was insane. Um, my phone just would not stop buzzing for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I had to pretty much turn it off um, at night because it still was going off after I was going to bed. So um, thank you, everyone that's been jumping on the store and uh, picking up a lot of these really cool old editions I've been able to dig up for you. Like I say, a lot of this stuff is the last of the last. Once they're gone, they go the way of the dodo. Extinction. Some other... I find this one interesting because um, it's like, okay, I'm used to seeing all these like demons and, and wolves and type of things. And then in this one, it's like, oh, hey, it's a lion. <laughs> It's just a lion. That's pretty cool. You don't expect a lion with a cool lion. You're just chilling with Lady Death on the prowl, on the hunt. <clears throat> Other cool things I got here for you. 
This is the uh, premium edition number one of Blacklands. Then another one by Mr. Guzman. And I love this. The, the, the zombie's uh, face reflected in her sword is like, oh, crap, please don't kill me. He's just begging for mercy. And she's like got her finger, uh, thumb on the edge of that blade. Like, yeah, it's going to split you. And I just love the look. So, uh, the look in his eyes is like sheer terror. He is just pleading to keep his undead life going. Next up, Blacklands. This is issue one. This is the Juan Jose Rip cover. Again, I, I love the wolves in this one. Just beautiful. Really nicely detailing. I love also how he does her hair. Her hair is just like alive. It's just everywhere in his pieces. There's no flat. Her hair is like its own living thing. Gorgeous piece. If anyone's out there who has... It's really nice pieces. It's really gorgeous art. And then again, it's another wrap cover, so... There's that big-ass sword Mr. Jacob, the cameraman, likes. Now, Jacob, I know um, you're my nephew and all, and your dad pretty much raised you guys on comic books, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. What was some of the titles uh, you guys liked? Well, I was ready for Fantastic Four. When you said Fantastic Five. I was like, oh, wow, yep. now that's that's obscure. Wow, let me guess, your dad got you those co copies. Yep. Nice. We would go to the comic shop every Saturday. <laughs> I remember when your dad was a teenager, he used to come to my store at Metro Center and shop. Mm. Um, and I just don't know it yet. Very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Lady Death, Blacklands number two. This is just the standard cover. Gabriel Guzman did this one as well. It's really all the different artists' interpretations um, of Lady Death they've had. It's another one. This is the premium cover. No, that's not the premium. That's the uh, Ferrera, Carlos Ferrera. Really nice piece. It's like um, that sword is just oh, different artists would um, do on the book. And look, the sun's going down again, or at least getting behind the clouds. It's been weird out here. I haven't had rain. It's just cloudy, not cloudy. You've kind of been wishing for rain just to kind of break up the, the sunshine a bit. And then I don't know about you guys, but next week it looks like out here in Arizona, get pretty hot upper 80s probably lower 90s so uh, if you live in the valley area or in arizona where it gets hot uh, yeah you always know what i mean summer's coming next up we have badlands number two this is the premium cover by gabriel guzman again i like this just lopped off that dude's the zombie's hand it's just gore dripping off the blade and i like how she's just holding the fingers she's like yeah you were trying to reach for me mm -hmm. yeah no lady death does not get touched she does the touching and usually it's to cut you off if you cross the line there's another blacklands one this is the rarity i hope he's i'm saying the name all right rarity rarity um this is Issue two of the Blacklands, another one of their mini covers they did. And this poor guy just like, man, look at that jaw and his tongue. I mean, that guy just roughed up. I mean, that looks like something out of a horror film. Um, almost like um, Street Trash. Do you ever watch Street Trash? Um, it's this really great low-budget horror film where um, someone is selling hooch that's like lower grade the mad dog and they're selling to these homeless guys and when they drink them it melts them from the inside out it's like really really <laughs> gross but pretty freaking hilarious too it's just one of those really cool horror films you really only got in the 80s just phenomenal so if you get it street trash another blacklands cover this is the juan jose rip cover 
Again, another beautiful piece. And his, his hair, the way he draws her hair is just, it's almost like Medusa. It's just alive and it's flowing. It's just never, never stands still. He really just brings a lot of life to her hair. And again, just the detailing he does in the backgrounds on all this, it's like you see the, the age of the chains here on this monster that she just slayed. It's just really nice detail. Beautiful work. Here you go, another Blacklands number two. This is the rap cover. I don't mean hip-hop rap. I mean it wraps around the whole book, front and back. Ha ha ha, that was a dad joke for all you dads out there. And one thing I like this, the worm's popping up and she just got it right through the mouth. Plah! It's great. Gabriel Guzman did the cover on this. And this one's really lighthearted. It's like she's looking at that cute little rat on her hand and then boom, she takes out that evil worm that I'm assuming was going to eat that rat. So good for you, Lady Death. Save that rat. Here we go, Blacklands number three. This is a regular cover, Gabriel Guzman. Another really cool, in the midst of battle, where she's just, everyone's trying to drag her down, but she's just grabbing each one of them, and she's just taking them all out. No one can hold her down. Just really powerful. She's just pushing that dude down, almost getting ready to get this dude. That's my scenario. She's pushing this guy down, going to get him in a headlock. Then she's going to rip this guy's head off and punch this dude with it. That's my fantasy of this cover. That's what I like to think is going to happen. It'd be cool if you could animate that. Oh, for all you foil fans out there, boom. It's the Black Lands Platinum, number three. I only have a few of these. Let's see if we can get the light there. But yeah, look at the foiling on all the armor. It's really cool. Cool stuff. And then the text. It's really awesome. So any of you fans of foil covers, scoop these up. I do not have a lot of foil covers left, I'm finding, um, going through it. But I still got another three box. If you want to look over here... This is what I brought home to go through to take a look at everything. So I still got my work cut out for me. Um, so I'm sure I'll file, find some more cool foil covers for you guys all to want to scoop up in your collections. But again, foil covers come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight because you could become partially blind. That is true. I'm telling you, it's a fact. Unless you want to have cool spots of lady death and foil in your brain by all means and you're set black lands number three rap cover gabriel guzman and again i like this slight soft effect they put on the eyes it's just this uh, just really it just adds to it just it gives her that power Here, cover up that over there. All right. There's still more to come, guys. I'm barely halfway through the box. Number four, this is the HDR cover. Daniel HDR did this. Blacklands 4. Say all of this stuff is on our eBay store. Just click on the link and scoop everything up that's available. Say I have anywhere from copies from one on up to about 10 to 15. So if you see something you like, scoop it up. It's like I say, it might not be there tomorrow. Here we go, another platinum cover. Issue four of the Blacklands. And I love that they did the sword this time. It's really fun. You can see the, the being inside the hilt there. It's a gorgeous piece, really nice. And it does have the Certificate of Authenticity. So there was only 550 of these made. So if they come with a COA, I throw the, keep the COA in there. Because that's the way it came to me. That's the way it should go to you. 
This one was an interesting one. I first thought it was a um, gatefold cover, but no. This is the uh, Sequiria. I, I'm sure I'm butchering that artist's name, and I apologize. But yeah, that one I was just like, oh, to take a picture on eBay, should I do it this way or do it this way? So I did it this way. But again, really, really cool piece. I love it when artists do covers. They, they format them differently than what you're used to. It just kind of adds a uniqueness to the piece. <clears throat> and that's the way I, I kind of like uh, about comic book cover art. It, it's... They're very unique pieces of art that just look amazing when you can frame them. I know there's some editions where, especially the older books, you don't want them to get too much sunlight as well. They'll deteriorate and the colors will fade. But man, some of the artwork over the years has just changed and they're really good at just selling the books. Issue four of Blacklands. It's another Juan Jose rip. This is another wrap cover. Again. Wraps around the cover. All those mean, nasty demons coming at her. It's really cool stuff. Again, this is all the stuff I've uploaded on the eBay store. And there will be more to follow. Uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to wrap things up and um, upload the last of what I gave myself to do today. And here we go. This is Boundless Issue Zero. Just love the skeletons all surrounding her. It's really. Does the issue beautiful. zero mean it was released as a prequel? Um, it's weird. Um, I remember you had um, half issues. Those were bigger than in zero issues. And they were almost like the prelude to the actual comic book. Um, in some cases, um, there was negative one issues, and Chaos Comics did quite a few of the negative one issues, and I always thought that was cool. It's like, okay, yeah, the negative one, this little eight-page books that showed you pencil sketch, and over on the other side is all the text, and it's really neat to see, um, especially to be happening on this page, can we have this happening in this panel, and the writer breaks it down, and the artist basically takes that information on the script and makes it into art so it's really neat to see that stuff with those um a lot of those issue zeros and halves and negative ones um ash cans was another couple um yesterday and they were just little teasers uh little samplings of what's to come in that book or in that story and it, it, they're really cool um i kind of miss the whole ash can thing you don't see them as much as you used to back in the 90s um but I, I think it's something that um, should make a comeback. They're really, really cool things in a collection. And this, this piece, that is just stunning. This is another cover for issue zero. This is the auxiliary cover. It was 2000 made. Just beautiful. And I love Finder. Just beautiful, beautiful art. And again, one thing I, I like about this artist, he did a lot of the um, Art Deco ones, and I'll ha I have a bunch of those on there. And I just really, um, I believe his name is Michael uh, uh, Descale. Pascale. D. Pascale. Um, I, I just, his art style is just stunning, really dramatic. I, I just love, love with a lot of his pieces. Um, uploading all this stuff onto the eBay store. And um, I, I have to say, I have uh, become a fan of his. Um, I really love his pieces. And um, I can't wait to show you everything that I have. Um, just really, his Art Deco covers are just sweet. Next up, this is an, a Hastings exclusive issue zero. Um, if anyone doesn't really, Hastings was a uh, Towns I was noticing. And um, they would carry a ton of this stuff. Um, they uh, shuttered uh, about three to four years ago. But this is one of their exclusives. I thought this was really neat. Um, just something cool. Old company's exclusive cover. I only had like uh, one or two of the, these ones. So once these are gone, that's it. 
Um, for any of you people that used to go to Hastings to get, they always had a lot of exclusive covers. So it's kind of neat to see something like that. Um, because I remember uh, in the 90s, you had Tower Record editions, and it seemed like everyone had their own variant covers. To so um, exclusive covers were a lot of fun to look at and to see people collect. Um, especially the Tower Records ones kind of threw me off. I never this is the wrap cover. Again, this is um, three years later than some of the other stuff. But if you noticed, his, his line, his hatching is kind of faded out a bit. It's not as extreme as it used to be. It's still beautiful. And it just all the detailing, like the eyeballs, the flesh tones, just all this gore that's surrounding her. And again, it's it's a total wraparound cover. I, I, I love the wraparounds too. They're... All right. What else we got? Oh, here we go. Here's issue one of Boundless. Really classic, beautiful fantasy art cover right there. Oh, another one. This is another cool rap art. Another Juan Jose rip. Really beautiful, beautiful pinup piece. And I love the pretty uh, skulls coming out of the uh, almost like flowers. Just really cool. Very cool wrap around cover. And you see all this stuff you will find on our eBay store. I have uploaded roughly maybe a hundred and... 30 individual books so there's a lot of new stuff on there um, a lot of cool old variant covers another issue too and this one's great that battle scene's just epic epic battle scene decapitations the whole nine yards and I like these guys don't have wings their arms are their wings I thought that was really unique something I hadn't seen before they gave them like dragon Green. Hey, Miguel, how was your foot healing up? I saw the things, they got the cast off. Uh, hope you're healing up well and everything's looking good for you and the family. And also, um, message me. I might have something for you. So uh, shoot me a message um, on my Facebook page. I, I, I think I have something for you that uh, will make you happy. Um, here's the first Art Deco cover. I really like the coloring on these. It's just um, on these is just stunning. Another real beautiful piece. This is the auxiliary cover. They only did fifteen hundred of this. Like I say, guys, um, I don't have tons of this stuff. Um, so whatever I have, if I find some more, I'll definitely be putting them up there. Um, but like I say, grab them while you can. This is all the Avatar Lady Death books. This is issue two, another wraparound cover, Juan Jose Rip. And and just look, he's he's tiled down on the, the lines, but it's detailed. Boom, look at that. That's like total, like you want to see that on a big screen. There's such an epic battle took place there. It's just amazing. Amazing work. And I'm just like, wow, how long did it take him to get all that detailing done? Just amazing artist. Amazing artist. I really loved looking at his stuff. All right. Another beautiful one. Issue three. And another Art Deco one. Beautiful piece. I love these ones. I, I love the Art Deco too. There was just something about it. I was like, you know what? I just love the look. They remind me of a certain uh, art style uh, painter in the 80s that was really big. Um, just gorgeous women, you know, not a lot of detailing, kind of flat, just stuck. You'll see his stuff. He'll just that did the Art Deco. Look at that. That's just phenomenal. Stunning art. Stunning art. She's ready to slay. Slay! All right. That's my high pitched squeal for the day. There we go. Another issue four. This is the standard cover. Go through these as fast as I can because I can say there's a ton. Oh, cool. Stop. There we go. It's a really gorgeous piece, and I love the flowers with the skulls in them. I really like that. It's a really nice, nice touch. I just love the vines that create the frame around the art. Just stunning work. Stunning work. 
go. Another beautiful piece right there. This is the stuff, guys. Like I say, I, I've been having, I've been in heaven working at home with all these books. Juan Jose Rip, another wrap issue. So it wraps around. This one definitely looks like uh, she's had a hell of a battle. She's just taking. go. I believe this is when Marcelo Mueller might have done this cover. Interior artist. This is issue six. This is again just a standard cover. Even the standard covers are really nice. Just beautiful art. Another art deco. It's for issue six. Oops. Go. This is Marcelo Mueller. Go. Another, oh, Richard Ortiz. This is a wrap cover. Beautiful piece, and I love like, how he frames the piece. It's really nice work from Richard Ortiz. He's someone, like I say, he's working on a lot of our books today. Another real in that face. It's really beautiful piece. Another Art Deco. This is the issue seven Art Deco. This one, Stunner, another beautiful piece. Same artist as the Art Deco. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful how I can just switch over like that. Just some stunning work. Stunning, stunning work. Guys, this is all the stuff you're gonna find on the eBay store. I've been spending all week uploading this stuff, digging through boxes, pulling boxes out of stuff. So a lot of this stuff, um, I don't think has been offered even on the Lady Death store for quite a few years, so. Once this stuff is gone, that's it. Another beautiful wrap cover. Issue nine auxiliary limited to 1500. 50 made of that. This is for the Virginia Comic-Con. 750 of this one were made. And I have a few of these. See, a lot of this stuff is the last of the last, folks. I will not be getting more unless I find some more boxes. And I pulled everything out of the off storage. So this is this is it for a lot of this Avatar stuff and Chaos stuff. I really like this one. This is a really cool battle cover right there. Just these two are just laying waste to each other. And they ain't going to stop till one of them drops dead. Really cool, cool action cover right there. And I love the mask that she's wearing. Very cool piece. Very cool piece. Another Art Deco. Tissue 11. Another wrap cover. This is uh, Gabriel Guzman, I believe. Or Gabriel uh, Andrade. I say I'm terrible with these names. Issue 12, regular cover. All right. Stacks. Here we go. Another art, art deco. This one is pre, just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful works of art. Look at that same guy, same guy. Just look at how the the style is, how he can just switch it like that. It's really amazing. I wish I could be a great comic book artist. This is the wrap cover. This one is really cool. This one's pretty psychedelic. I felt. Just beautiful. I, I love this. Uh, I don't know what this is going on in the background. It looks like a, a something serpentine, but just look at the detailing in the art. It just really pops. Find here the Coffin Comics eBay store. Click on the link. The gay real cover. That's, that's really powerful. Powerful cover. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite Art Deco ones. Beautiful. Again, this is Michael Spasco. Beautiful piece. Another wraparound, I believe this is Richard Ortiz. Yep, this is a Richard Ortiz cover, issue 13, wraparound. It's like a little preview book. This is the action cover. Another preview book for Dark Horizons. 
Daniel HDR. Beautiful piece. There we go. Another Guzman cover, Dark Horizons. Dead Rising preview book. This is the uh, rip cover. Death Goddess. I think this is the only one I have for the Death Goddess books. And then I have the uh, Richard Ortiz. This is the Fetishes cover. This is the special cover they did for the Fetish. This is a book of pinups. And let's see if we got time for a couple more for you guys. Yep, got a few more minutes. This is the Fetishes dressing cover. This is the last one, so I only have one of these on the eBay store. Another Juan Jose Rip cover for Infernal Sins. This is the premium cover. Another Richard Ortiz, Infernal Sins. This is the wraparound cover. Leather and Lace, 2005. Another pinup book. This is the premium cover. The great one with attitude is Carlos Ferreira. This is the other Leather and Lace 2005. This is the Sultry cover. Then the Lost Souls. This is the commemorative, Issue Zero commemorative cover. And the last one is the Lost Souls. This is the other uh, Issue Zero. This is the Ready to Rumble cover. So all these things I have uploaded onto the eBay. Click on the link to jump onto the eBay store and scoop up all this stuff. A lot of these things, this is it. Once I sell out of them, that's it. I don't have any more unless I discover another box. And I haven't found any more so far. And I've been through everything, everywhere in HQ. So unless there's another hiding place that Brian has yet to tell us, um, yeah, who knows? Who knows what I'll be finding over the next few weeks. So do a quick pan, if you will, of all. The I'm going to grab a quick drink of water before I wrap it up. Ah, oh, boy, am I thirsty. Yeah, and this is all the stuff I have uploaded on our eBay store. I showed you guys a bunch of stuff on Monday. A lot of that was the Chaos Comics stuff. Uh, this is the Avatar era of Lady Death. <clears throat> um, so far, I am only halfway. Actually, I'm not even halfway. I'm a quarter way through of what I brought home to upload on eBay for y'all um, while I'm working for home for the next two weeks. Um, again, it's been a lot of fun digging this stuff out. It's been a lot of fun posting this all this stuff up here because i know a lot of fans have been like you know where is this stuff at the store so i decided heck with it let's just put it all on our ebay store because we do have another outlet for you guys to scoop up the stuff um we have a lot of our new stuff from coffin comics uh, the coins things like that hats buttons tons of um comic editions um the ebay store i have put a lot of the classic stuff the care of the 25 years of publication of lady death actually i should say 26 years wow that's crazy to say um but thank you everyone i hope everyone's um enjoying their time uh with family uh it is a weird time for us all but like i said we're we're americans and we adapt and we make things better because that's what we've always been we're a nation of do-gooders to try to get things done we join together, we do it right, because we stand strong, united together. Divided we fall, united strong. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I will see you back here Monday in my living room for the next wave of stuff I'll be uploading on our eBay store.